unboxing these shoes just came in the mail like i just got home from running an errand and the mail came within like 30 minutes i've only been gone that long and they came in the mail so i'm gonna unbox them really quickly and yeah yeah let's get to it so i've never ordered from this site i don't typically order these type of shoes or order from sites like this but um i think i just was like I was just, I, I didn't leave the house for days, and I just was like in the house, and I was just like scrolling through the internet, and then I saw that the shoes were on sale, and I was like, well, I can get them on sale for really cheap, then sure, why not? I have like one outfit I would do with them, so yeah, that's what these are for. So, shoes are from, oh, address. Shoes are from Public Desire. You can't even see that. Okay. So let's, I have literally 5% on my camera battery. So this is going to be like the quickest, why do I keep putting my address in there? The quickest unboxing ever. Okay, so just public desire in like a little plastic bag. Um, billion dollar smile. Um, a teeth whitening thing for 15% off. And then what she ordered so i'm guessing if you want to return them you have to return them to you have to pay for the shipping yourself i'm just going to guess that um the box color is cute if you can if you can guess what shoe it is write it down below um okay so this is super basic of me and i'm typically not super basic but i was going to buy the real expensive version and i didn't because I bought a pair of Yeezys, so I chose not to buy the really expensive version, and I bought the cheap version. So they're just the clear Lucite. Ew, what is the fuck? Okay, so already I was about to say, okay, they're they're cute. I guess I only paid, I got twenty five percent off the sale price, so they were only like fifteen or something instead of the forty that they typically are. But what is this smudgy thing going on? I. Okay, so I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like anyone's ever worn them, maybe. So this one doesn't have anything wrong with the heel. Um, but this one has like some imprint or something. Like... I don't know what that is but these are it they feel like okay quality I mean I don't think I would ever pay like 40 or 50 dollars I've seen these all online in like different stupid online stores that sell all the same stuff and I've seen them as much as like I don't know why my nose is running it's cold outside um I've seen them as much as like 70 dollars I would never in my life pay 70 dollars like if I bought the Yeezy version I probably would do that because they're they're suede in the inside like when these came out I bought like the Yeezy boots and I got them, I was like, okay, these are like heavy as fuck and they have no zipper, so it was pointless. But I like them, but it was pointless. But I don't know. I don't I'm glad I bought them because they were only like fifteen dollars. I mean with shipping they came with a twenty five, but still that's cheaper than what I would have paid for them full price. I would have never bought these full price. I have this like um strapless dress I wanna wear these with. Um I've been saving for a date night. I literally have had the dress since end of august or like the beginning like the first week of september and i've yet to wear it because i've yet to go on a date night um well i have been on a date night but it wasn't like the occasion to wear the dress i mean i could have wore the dress but it just i wasn't wearing that to a concert like the boot all, all that was just out i'm not i can't this is for like a special date night maybe valentine's day i don't know wow you know he works so whatever anyways rambling these are cool public desire i will say i do have an issue with Whatever that is, I'm gonna try to get it off. I will email them and be like, hey, what is this? What's up with that? But for $15, I would even say up to $30 because the heel is pretty heavy and substantial. So for $30, I say yes. If y'all would like me to do like a lookbook, but it's not gonna be like some basic bitch lookbook, it's gonna be like my type of lookbook. So 
If you don't know my style, you'll get to know it. Hit a thumbs up and I'll give you um, a lookbook on these on the way I would style them. And I feel like I have like some styles that I would wear them now in the cold. Obviously not with my toes out. So I can just give you some ideas for that. So give me a thumbs up. I'll put a link in the description with these exact ones if they're still there. They do come in like a bunch of different colorways. Like, Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll check you next time. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see a lookbook or give me a thumbs up if you just like the video. Whatever. It's up to you. Also, check out my last vlog. And um, I'll see you guys later. Happy February. Happy Black History Month, okay? I'm going to actually put a piece of black history right here. Whatever. Like a, a, like a you know, a quote or something like that. Whatever. Happy Black History Month. Have a good month. Spread love, peace, happiness, joy. You know? Yeah. Oh, and if you would like some basic bitch Valentine's Day makeup tutorials, you know, drop a comment below. I know all the makeup tutorials in here be like extra deep. I personally just don't have the time for that. I'll give you a nice glowy face. Like this is like basic. Like this is like basically no makeup. But I'll give you like a makeup tutorial, which you know, a slight eye but a popping lip. So hope you all enjoyed this. Check me out later. Check me out my social media at wendy.inthecity. Bye!